Hi everybody, Chris back again and today we are going to be reviewing the Pulse X kit 21700 with my rewrapped Samsung 30 T. I don't know if you can it's ha it's got a T on it anyway, but uh yeah. Pretty uh pretty good, pretty decent mod. Apart from one thing, I don't know if anyone else, because I've not seen any reviews on this little glitch. And uh what I mean by is that I contacted I bought this from Evolution Vaping, right? And I've bought from them before, uh once before, what was it? The uh Vapors Cloud Big Piglet. 26650 series big chunky 700 gram copper mech mod and uh no problems with that that's great this i emailed them because for some reason it will randomly just the wattage will just freeze in the sense that i can't decrease uh, it's happening now yes it's actually there god this is crap this um yeah i'm using a, a chromebook uh camera to record this that's as good as it gets for me right now but yeah i can increase the wattage but look this is on 60 watts right 60 watts just normal power mode right and it oh yeah okay but basically, yes, look, I can, I'm in, increasing, hang on, increasing, right, to 90 watts. It's, if you can make that out, it's actually, it's 90 watts. It's, right, right, now it will randomly just start, it, it's, it's in, uh, decreasing now, so <laughs> I don't know if anyone else has had the, uh, this same problem, right? It's not. A massive issue like it's not going to make me not want to use it but it's it's annoying you know uh, didn't see Tony B have this issue I don't know it's uh, but it doesn't affect performance or battery life or anything like that it's still yeah, it works fine um, I do prefer my recurve scrum I'll be honest but um, I do find I like to run the higher resistance on this even this is a uh, oh, Pulse X, obviously the RDA. Uh, I've put half a dozen different builds in this, and for some reason, I find this works best for me in dual vertical right, configuration. And uh, I'm actually rocking a dual 30 gauge with a 40 gauge Clapton wrap, and it's actually ohming out to 0.57. 0.57 right on the recurve no way that <laughs> it would ramp up it would take it would be like 0 to 60 in one and a half minutes or something like that you know it, yeah but yeah on this i rock it at like 55 watts 60 watts is fine but it, it, i've taken it up to 90 not to you know actually run it at just to try it and it, it doesn't dry hit it's fine they're small coils very very springy to wrap god i bought you know it's the uh <laughs> might be a bit silly in the way that i'm using it but it was actually the <clears throat> coilology mouth to lung like sport and i normally run like you know frame staples dual 26 gauge with the uh you know the, the frames I, I don't know what bloody yeah i don't make my own coils i've attempted to make dual um, like just normal claptons before I couldn't get them consistently like wrapped properly but I'd have like little small spots like kind of enough to make maybe a three wrap or something like that where it would be tight but you know I'm going to practice again when these wires run out but yeah this you know it actually works quite nicely like this they don't look the best one is more consistent than the other the other one is that this one here is fairly you know not very neat at all this one is actually quite straight so i yeah that was my second attempt i had to wrap them really tight along the um the uh, jig piece the jig the coil jig 
but yeah, not the most fun to wrap. I prefer to run, you know, wrapping like, I don't know, Tricor 26 gauge, you know, it really stays, you know, where you want it. It's just so good. You know, it doesn't spring back on you. It's, you know, it's good. But yeah, this, uh, what's this up? Okay, turn the watch down. Okay, it's not playing up. It's good. All right, 60 watts. No, it's pretty. Uh... I really hate doing that because, <laughs> I mean, not just to show, but like, you know, I hate wasting e liquid. I hate when things leak and I have to tap it up. Like, you know, call me crazy, but with my favorite juices, the Dura ones and that, I scoop them into the, you know, even, yeah, and I lick my fingers. I try, yeah, I, I've, I've probably given myself small doses of nicotine poisoning, but hey, you know, I'm stupid. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, this, um, this is quite good. So yeah, that's uh, my little thing with the Pulse. You know, it's G10 panels, very nice. You know, although another thing, you know, it's not a big deal. It's on the back, for God's sake. Like, you know, there was scratches on this when it was like fresh out of the box. Um, but yeah, the magnets, though, they work great. The bottle, you know, supposedly eight mils, but it's small, man. It's smaller than the, uh, what do you call it, the mechanical one. I've got the kit one and I bought one when it just came out on its own. Yeah, um, I prefer those bottles. I prefer the feel of these ones, but I prefer the size. I feel like I definitely get more juice capacity with those, definitely. But um, yeah, I like this high resistance with vaping single coil. You know, I look, here's the, um, you know, very expensive, very posh Akuvena SXK. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm a scan, I'm a cheat, you know, just a cheapskate. But no love this thing would consider saving up for the real deal so those guys that you know i don't want to get into it because i feel well i've just started doing this i don't want to give myself some bad name or you know being labeled as something like you know a clone stuff or something you know <laughs> um but yeah like you know someone said it might have been mark the open postman or mfa i think it was them too when there was in a uh, live um thing chat um they said, you know, people say, oh, yeah, clones, they steal from the company, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, like, you know, the clones, I, I feel, can give someone the, uh, you know, an, an advance kind of like, you know, whether they're going to like it or not, and then they buy it, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people, you know, don't have tons of money that they just want to drop on something, and then they go, oh, I don't want to use this. This is not for me. And me, no, I can't afford to do that. I get quite upset when I buy a Chinese one that's like, you know, just an authentic Andy vape something and uh, I don't like it for whatever reason. And it just sits there and that kind of goes, oh, you know, I've blown my cash on that. And it's kind of, well, and I've got a collection of stuff. I have a few things that I don't use or I might pull out once in a while. But um, yeah, man, I, I use this thing a lot. Like, I, I, I really, I wouldn't get rid of this. Like, if I got an authentic, you know, this would definitely be a backup. And it's cool to see the differences. But I think these clone companies, personally, just, you know, very short, would like, you know, just, I've seen it on a few things where they just, they don't use, you know, the branding, the logos, you know, just clean, but they will have the same deck style, the same airflow configuration, everything. And to me, that's not, you know, that's a style. It's not, you know, pure, clone. it's not ripping off the, yeah, it's, you know, lots of things use different designs. We've seen posters, decks on loads of things, you know, is that clones? No, they just adapt and use and you know they, they they make it into their own you know i have one design that i have not seen but it takes three or four different you know aspects of some drippers and some rtas and i kind of in my head imagined it and i did draw it out it wasn't very good but you know let's just say it uses an idea or you know design from morton owens zathog the um, Fatality RTA by QP Designs. It takes something from the Triple RTA and uh, yeah, blends them all together, you know? And yeah, like if I ever got the chance to design something, if this design never came out, 
I would love to see that, you know, production made because I think it would be, I think it will just be the creme de la creme of flavor in a dual coil configuration. I just, yeah. But, you know, I have, <laughs> I don't know how to get there. You know, I would love to, but I don't know how to get there. Uh, but one day you know, I might see that design pop up and I'm definitely going to buy it if it's close to or, you know, the same because Mike vapes or something. It, it's not impossible for two different vapors, you know, someone in the world, another person in the world to have the same train of thought and go, right, this is how, you know, this is how you get the best out of an RTA or something or this design is going to be awesome. You know, I don't think it's impossible. But um, yeah, so that was just my... Uh, Second review, if you call it a review, um, on the Pulse X kit. Not bad, but glitchy. My one is glitchy. Um, maybe it just needs a firmware update or something. Might try it. I've never had success with firmware updates because uh, I'm crap with computers and such, etc. And uh, yeah, so peace and love X. Very warm fan.